Yurt, Jimmy Gang, the Army, the Navy, the Unstoppable. Welcome back to another video with your guy, man. I appreciate everybody for tapping into this video today, man. If you new around here, man, don't be a goofy, man. If you rocking with your boy, subscribe to the channel, like the video in advance because you know you're about to get into a banger, man. Let's go, man. Shout out to the family. He back with another one. We got Florida Rapper drops music video with the guy he body. Like, okay, he dropped a music video with the guy he body. So they made a video together when someone was alive. And then he got caught for the body. Like, we're going to figure it out, my boys. Tap in. Let's go, man. We're going to get right into it. We're going to waste too much time. Nobody wins when the family feels. What's up, dog? Shit, do good. Man, nigga talking crazy, speaking on my name, all type of shit. And nigga, I don't even pop it top around this bitch. You heard me? We even walk. If I die today, who the f my cash for? They don't even got six niggas I can call if I ain't have it. My B, I'm looking for sellers like my daughter ain't got her dad. I talk to Fred just smiling when he know I really ain't happy. Tonight, FDLE investigators are piecing together. <laughs> I'm not even gonna get it. The song was decent. <laughs> <laughs> the song was decent. I'm not even gonna cap. <laughs> what happened after a Hillsborough County man was found dead? Officials are pointing the finger at a rapper from Riverview. Tonight, we're following through on a story we first brought you in 2021 after a Hillsborough County man was killed and dumped on the side of the road. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. I don't want to be remembered for busting the nigga head, bitch. I'm trying to be remembered for goddamn taking care of my people, you heard? See, I respect that man. That's a fact. I'm not trying to be remembered for busting a nigga head, bro. Anybody could do that. Niggas, I, most of the niggas I know done did that. I done did that. I'm not trying to be known for that, bro. We passed that, bro. Life goes on. Niggas trying to get to the bag. Nigga trying to be a business owner. Nigga trying to have some property, bro. I respect the way son thinking, bro. Let's see where it all went wrong, though. Real nigga shit. Hold up. Let me go get my drink. Let go. Bitch, make sure my old girl straight, be my part straight, my kids, all that, my niggas, all that. You hear me? I promise you, bitch. Ain't now a nigga around me, bitch, sitting there. We all get money. And my grandfather voice, may he rest in peace. You better make sure everybody around you getting money, because if you getting money, you the only nigga getting money, and these niggas around you, they're like, nigga, we doing the same thing you doing. Where my money at? Niggas start hating real quick, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. You gotta know that. Niggas start hating real quick. A natural bone black dessert to go to with gasoline draws on. Imagine losing your loved one, family, and a local rapper is responsible. You wait a couple years, he take it to trial. This man get found guilty. On that same week, he decides to drop a music video. Co-star, your deceased loved one. The man he's allegedly held responsible. Nah, this is different. See, I assumed... See, remember what I assumed in the beginning is not this. No, somebody, son, already had a music video with the nigga and then dropped it. That's crazy. For in the court of law and serving the rest of his life for in this video. When you think the victim's family gets some form of closure, they make the wound much steeper, leaving now more questions that they probably would never have answers for. In a video, they probably got more views from law enforcement than the general public. But that's what we have here today, family. It's sad, it's unfortunate. But before I break this one down, I want you guys to remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. I give you the angle, I give you the story, my opinion, what I would have did, how I would have grabbed the blick up and boom. Like, I tell you all that, bro. I bring you into my mind, I bring you into my world. So make sure you subscribe, man. Don't be a goofy. If you rocking with me, subscribe, bro. Honestly, if you not subscribing, but you rock with me, that's funny activity, my nigga. That's feminine activity. It's weirdo activity. So hit that subscribe button. What subscribe button? The one right there, the red one. Nigga, hit that. With that being said, <laughs> make sure you like, 
comment, and subscribe. We're going to jump right to it. Javante Wilkins, a.k.a. 561 Monster. Some man from Florida talking about a guy who was so high one day. Allegedly, he took the life of his friend, dumped him out the car, and turned himself in to the next county over. What? Now 32 years old, he was 29 when he was first arrested in 2021 when he was charged with M1 and destroying evidence. One of his most known tracks on YouTube was a track called Lay and Law, released two years ago with over 82,000 views and count. City, nigga for chop. All I need is my glizzy. I was showing love the whole time they was against me. I step alone, I don't need no nigga with me. If I die today, who the fuck my cash? Don't even got six niggas I can call if I ain't have. Damn, he said, if I die today, who gonna hold my casket? I ain't even got six niggas I could call if I ain't have it. I ain't gonna lie. That's some real lyrics, bro. Son just spit some real lyrics. I like that. Nigga said, I ain't got six niggas I could call if I ain't have it. If I die today, who gonna carry my casket? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. That's real. I like that. I, ain't, I don't know if I like son right now from the story, but I like that nigga lyrics. That shit was hard. Danita and her son Christian. She got a call on November 14th, 2021 from Columbia County Sheriff's in Florida saying that her son Christian was found deceased on Southwest Harmony Lane near State Road 47 in Lake City. May he rest in peace and level condolences to the family. And guess who gave police this intel? 561 Monster, aka Javante, the same day. FDLE investigators are piecing together what happened after a Hillsborough County man was found dead. Officials are pointing the finger at a rapper from Riverview. ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Lane talked to the victim's family about the struggle. Bro, you would think rappers is the only people who commit crimes, but in real life, it's just that rappers is the only people who commit crimes and then go on to paint the picture for law enforcement, showing them exactly when, where, how, and who they committed the crime on. It's not that rappers is the only people committing crimes. They just self snitch too much. Facing now while dealing with their grief. His friends come and, you know, if they go out, they like. Like, bro, if I ever self snitch on myself, by, like, I would never come on here and talk about some shit that I did that I ain't get charged for. Never. Never. If I ain't get charged for it, nigga, you're not getting the story time. Back up again, you know. Danita Cuevas spent Thanksgiving in Tampa remembering her son instead of eating with him. It's just this tightness, this pain, like this, and this emptiness right here. That's after the Columbia County Sheriff's Office says her son, Christian Lujan, was found dead Sunday by the side of a major state road. He left my baby on the side of a road. Damn, bro. Nah, this, this, is, this, this hurt to watch, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. This mother pain, you can feel this mother pain, bro. It's, it's hard to watch. She breaking down. They, they left her baby on the side of the road. Like, I feel for her, gang. That's tough. Like, I ain't got no kids, but I would not want my kid to be left on no side of the road. They kind of found out his homie did it. <laughs> an animal. And according to the CCSO, a rapper from Riverview, Javante Wilkins, is charged with his murder. They say Wilkins turned himself into police in the next county over. What happened? It's the question Cuevas is left asking herself because she says, to her knowledge, her son didn't know Wilkins very well. And she's not sure why they were up in North Florida to begin with. Please, anybody, like anybody that has any kind of information, even if they think it's small, you know, they have to say something so that these pieces of this puzzle can be put together and this person pays for what they did to my son. Because Christian's death was so sudden, they're struggling to cover the cost of his funeral. They need to raise about 8,000. This is the sad part, bro. Death is usually sudden. Like, unless you was in hospice and you've been dying for a while, we've been knew you had disease. Most people die all of a sudden. Like, niggas don't expect it. Like, so it's tough, bro. Like, you put in... Not only is you hurting this family emotionally by taking a family member from them, bro, when you when you take a life, bro, but you also putting a family in a crazy situation that they can't a lot of people can't put up 10 bands, 20 bands for a funeral, bro. It costs mad bread to pay for somebody to, to get buried and all that, bro. Like most of that times the money, niggas don't have it. Niggas don't be having that. Let's keep it up there, nigga. We niggas. Niggas don't be planning for the future, which we need to do better. If you watching me, bro, I hope you plan it. I'm trying to get better with that. Planning for the future, doing things to promote better health, all that. Like, we need to get on that. But let's keep it a band, bro. Black people do not be prepared, my nigga. Black people, Spanish people, all of us minorities, gang, we don't typically be prepared, bro. Especially black people. Asians be prepared.
dollars to pay off his funeral by Wednesday so they can hold services for him on Friday. I'm just having faith that, you know, we're going to be able to have the arrangements that we made for him on Friday. As she waits on answers, Cueva says she is holding tight. That got to be tough, bro. I know finances, y'all is like, we ain't nobody worried about no money right now. Bro, you got to think about that, bro. That is a burden on Good the mother, times. bro. That is a burden on the mother, bro. Like, she got, she's left with the responsibility to make sure her son get buried properly. Give him the funeral she, she feel he deserved. But she don't got the bread, bro. It's, it's messed up out here, gang. We got to get, we got to do better, bro. Like Christian's recent 30th birthday. He was so happy that day. He went to the meat market. He sent me a picture. <laughs> he was like, Mo, why you didn't tell me this place was so expensive? <laughs> In Tampa, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News. If you have tips that can help investigators, you can call the... Damn, Jasmine Styles is beautiful. Jasmine Styles could be wifey. I ain't gonna lie. She got a good job. She got that nice little hair in the bun, pretty lips, all that brown skin. Jasmine Styles. I like I like your style, Jasmine Styles. DLE's Tampa office at 878-7300. And if you'd like to help the family with funeral arrangements, you can... Fast forward to 2023, almost two years later. On the last week of August, 5 6 month monster will have his day in court. But like we mentioned, almost two years ago, he gave his own statement. The jury found him guilty less than 30 minutes. He was sentenced to life in prison. That didn't stop him and his antics and pulling gasoline on fire. Tonight, we're following through on a story we first brought you in 2021 after a Hillsborough County man was killed and dumped on the side of the road of a North Florida roadway. As ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Olin shows us, that man's family is now finding a sense of closure after his accused killer received a lengthy prison sentence. Your Honor. It's a victim impact statement, two years in the making. I have been robbed of so many precious moments with my son. That Danita Cuevas says she read to a Columbia County judge earlier this month, just before Javante Wilkins was sentenced to life in prison. Ooh. According to case documents. Son got life in prison, gang. See, they pause. They slammed the hammer down hard on that nigga, bro. They said, what? You bodied a nigga that made a music video with him in it? Oh, you blatant disrespect for the family. Life. Life. Like, damn, that hurts, bro. Wilkins was found guilty of shooting and killing Cuevas' son, Christian Lujan, while the two were driving back to Hillsborough County from a trip to South Carolina. Prosecutors say Wilkins then dumped Lujan on the side of the road in Columbia County and later turned himself in. I can find... Bro, that is vicious, though. Why would you... I'm trying to figure out why. I got to figure out why. Like, why would you do... We get into the bottom. I know that that's coming in this story. That's got to be what's next, the why. Because now I want to know why, my nigga. You body this nigga in the whip, dump him off on the side of the road, keep going. And then turn yourself in. Why? Like, I'm not saying you should. I, I got questions, bro. Let's figure it out. Set my son free now. I can let him go. So his soul can be at peace now. When we first spoke to her two years ago, Cuevas told us there was one question that plagued her. What happened? And two years later, we're finally getting answers. According to the arrest affidavit, the two men were on their way to shoot a music video, but they never made it to their destination. Investigators say Wilkins, who was high on several drugs at the time, became paranoid that Lujan was conspiring with others to kill him. So he shot him. But Bruh. See, bro? Drugs. This is why you gotta st stop doing drugs, bro. If you do drugs, my nigga, stop doing them. I'ma say smoking trees is not doing drugs. So that don't count, nigga. If you doing heavy drugs, hard drugs, my nigga, stop doing them, bro. This nigga about to spend the rest of his life in jail behind some dumb shit he did under the influence of a drug. He was high for probably five hours. He gonna spend the rest of his life behind the wall. Son family that he that he took his life. They got to spend the rest of their life missing a family member. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, all cousin nigga wanted to get high, bro. Investigators say there was no clear evidence that Wilkins was in danger. And to know that he killed my son for nothing. For nothing. In the end, Cuevas says she feels justice has been served, but she adds that she carries no ill will towards Wilkins's mother and his family. For a second, you know, I put myself in her situation and how I would feel if that was my son, if the roles would have been reversed, you know? So I don't 
fault her. I don't wish anything bad on his family, you know. In Hillsborough County, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News. And this is a prime example on how prosecutors can get things wrong. Everyone is human, but just going solely off a man who turned himself in after he allegedly took the life of another individual shouldn't be all the evidence you need. Because apparently they did get to their destination. And this mother thought just three weeks ago that they didn't based on the testimony and the evidence that was presented in court. Now, he recently dropped a music video. And I'm assuming this is the music video that they went to go shoot. And he's just now releasing. And the song is released three weeks ago, as we mentioned. Just over 7,000 views. It's titled Top. Christian is literally the co-star of this video. What's up, dog? Man, nigga talking crazy, speaking on my name, all type of shit. Like a nigga on the poppy top around his man, you heard me? Oh, yeah? What is rocking like then? Tired of working on G things. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Y'all stick status, man. You heard me? Hey, 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 look, 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 hey, look, look, don't even say nothing. I'm saying I'm finna, I'm finna come through, I'm finna come, I'm finna come pick you up. Right. Let's shoot up. Sure. And when I say Christian was in the entirety of that video, he was. On FaceTime, though? Like, so he was on FaceTime with the nigga. The nigga talking about, yo, he feel like niggas trying to backdoor him. The nigga on FaceTime. But then the other nigga end up clipping him? Bro, this is confusing, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. This story confusing. Start showing fire on, so I'm gonna stop it here. Plus, nobody wanted to hear those rap. You wanna check that video out? Be my guest. We talking about a man who allegedly is his own friend after he shot a music video with him. Coast. Bro, he bodied him after they just shot a music video, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That tells you everything you need to know about the story, bro. Like, nigga was on that. He was on a beam, bro. He was on. Don't do Zannies, my nigga. Don't ever do Zannies, my nigga. Zannies is how you doing some shit like this, bro. This is like a Zanny trip type of, like, that sound like a Zanny trip. I ain't gonna lie to you. All right, him. Then he wait till he gets sentenced to life to release the video. On top of allegedly lying to authorities saying he didn't do the video when in fact he did. So we mentioned, we can only imagine it's like pouring gasoline on fire. When well, he already got life. He already got life. Like, things can't get worse for the man. He already got hit with life. He got hit with an L bow. You know what I'm saying? He already got hit with life, bro. So it is what it is. Like, I guess he figured, like, I'm going to drop my last music video, even though it got 7,000 views, and, like, and you got a whole murder victim in it. So for you to have a victim in your video and only have 7,000 views and you clout chasing is crazy, bro. Like, you failed from, from behind the wall. You failed from jail, nigga. Like, your music video sucks. The song sucks. Everything sucks about it. Jimmy Gang, I'm going. I'm off this nasty, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that one in the comments. This was, I ain't going to lie. This, this one was wild, bro. Son shot a music video with his homie, then clipped him, kicked him out the whip, then drove to another town to turn himself in. Like, make it make sense. That's what the, that's what popping him, you know what I'm saying? And being on all type of different substances will do to you, my boys. Stay sober out here. Well, not sober, but you know what I mean? Like, stay off heavy, heavy drugs. Don't be on hard drugs, nigga. Smoke, you know I mean? If you smoke a little trees or whatever, you drink a little bit, cold, 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 that's cool. Even keep that to a minimum because you want to health as well. I mean, I'm not going to say that because I don't keep the trees to a minimum. Y'all know I burn every single day. I'm a, I'm a weed head, nigga. I, I like to smoke. Like, it is what it is. I'm going.